guys welcome back to another new video so in this video i'm going to install project elixir rom on my redmi note 8 so the project elixir rom is based on android 12 and it's uh, a osp rom and i will check is there is anything uh, special about this rom so in this video i will show you how you can install it and also i will give a uh, give you a quick glance of it so currently now I am using Pixel OS and I have given a review of it and it's running just fine. There is nothing to say about this ROM. It's uh, same as Pixel Experience ROM, but it has two benefit uh, from Pixel Experience ROM is that it has uh, Xiaomi parts and also it has uh, MI, MIUI camera. So if you need MIUI camera and if you need uh, stability light like pixel experience rom you can uh, use pixel os which is uh, quite good rom actually uh, i'm using this rom over three four days and it's uh, quite stable rom so let's uh, jump into our, our today's video so i have downloaded the rom into my pc and copy it over pen drive so i'll be using pen drive to flash the rom so the flashing process is same if you are flashing from android 10 if your ROM is run, if your phone is running on Android 10, please flash Android 11 firmware first, then flash the ROM. Otherwise, your phone will break. So, because I'm running on Android 11, so I don't need actually uh, any kind of uh, what it called any uh, firmware. So I'll be installing it like this. So let's uh, flash the firmware. So hey guys, the ROM has booted up as you can see, we are in the uh, startup screen. So let's finish the uh, startup process first, then I will give you the, uh, give you the quick lens of this ROM. hey guys uh, we are in the rom now as you can see here uh, the you can see the home screen and i will try to give you the quick glance of it so let's focus the camera first hopefully you can see now so here we have our rom installed properly and let's unplug our so as you can see here what we are getting um first of all we are not getting any miui camera with it as you can see we are getting camera app but not miui camera so so if you need miui camera just ignore this rom because we don't have any miui camera here and other thing is same like what you get with aosp rom uh, chrome google photos and other things minimal uh, g apps and let's check our android version and other things so so the layout layout is quite good as you can see here it's quite different from others rom uh, as you know pixel os and what it called uh, pixel experience rom so it's a little different and we have a little tweak available here so you can tweak a little bit your interface as you can see here so here we have themes black theme and other things status bar or brightness slider and extras so we are getting all those things with these roms which you will not get with pixel uh, os and also pixel experience rom so these things you will not get with pixel experience rom and pixel os so so if you need uh, extra tweak so you can go to this rom but uh, there is no miui camera so let's check we go, we are getting xiaomi parts or not because i really need xiaomi parts to run my phone otherwise it will give me the skin burning issue so if I go to the system, there is no Xiaomi parts and in the about phone, if I go about phone, so it's running on Android 12 as you can see, uh, Android 12 and as you can see project Elixir uh, and our college, uh, Elixir version is 1.5. So if, if uh, there is new version comes, I will uh, cover it too. 
so now we are getting uh, 1.5 and the security patch level is uh, February 5, 2022. So it's uh, one month period. Uh, no, what we are getting is uh, little tweaks here, and but we are not getting any Xiaomi parts. Let's check it in accessibility. No, we don't have. That means we are stuck with what they are getting with the display uh, setting. So that means we are going to get uh, skin burning issue on this ROM. I think so. So for the full review, uh, you have to wait a little because I, I need to use this ROM. Then I will uh, I will give a review of it. But right now, um, as far as I can see here, the, the ROM is not that bad. It's working fine. And, and that's it for today. Um, I will see you in the next video and I will give you a uh, full review of it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.